Now to an all too common killer in America, melanoma, the skin cancer that leads to thousands of deaths every year. The headline today is a new way to diagnose it without first doing a biopsy. The story from our chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyderman. Two years ago, Kevin Carver lost his wife, Michelle, at the age of 33. She died from malignant melanoma. She was a fighter, probably the strongest, most courageous woman I've ever met in my life. They shared their love of travel and their love for their daughter, Peyton. <laughs> a year after his wife's death, Kevin was diagnosed with early stage melanoma. We can compare mole by mole. He was successfully treated, but because of his risk for future cancers, he now sees Dr. Kelly Nelson at Duke University, who is studying a novel way of diagnosing skin cancer without the traditional scalpel biopsy. There's so much anxiety related with it. You have to go through a procedure, you have to wait for the results, and the not knowing is really one of the most pressing things for my patients. The confocal uses a very weak laser light to look inside the skin, not just at it, searching for pigment. The reflected light is then interpreted by the computer, zeroing in on skin cancers in the making. We can see the blood vessels and the blood cells moving through the blood vessels in real time. So it's an amazingly powerful tool. The hope is that with Confocal, people at risk can forgo painful biopsies and be diagnosed earlier before skin cancer does any damage. The ability to determine whether something is of concern or not, potentially by using the Confocal microscope, could truly save people's lives. A technology that Kevin is banking on, not only for himself, <laughs> but also for Peyton, who looks just like her mother. I've got to be around for that little girl, so she's my life. <laughs> Dr. Nancy Snyderman, NBC News, New York.